what you're doing today and why. We're standing outside, fixing outside Pilgrim to try and raise awareness about the government's attack on, the, well, all the public service pensions, but particularly the NHS pension. Uh, we can hear you guys blowing a hooters. We've heard cars that driving past blowing their horns. What's your feeling of the uh, of the reaction you've had? Most of the support we've had today has been quite positive. One or two people have made comments, but m vast, vast majority has been very much in support from the staff coming in and the people driving by. The lorry drivers have been particularly fantastic this morning. Your day job is uh, is in that hostel um, behind us, caring for people. And what impact do you think your uh, action today has had on, on that? Um, well, I hope that my actions haven't had that much impact on the emergency services at the hospital. Um, I think some of the non-emergency things hopefully have slowed down, um, maybe even stopped. But it was never our intentions to impact on emergency services because we're not out to hurt the public at all. By the very nature of your job, I guess you're, you're caring people, aren't, aren't you? So I, I imagine that, that it was quite a difficult decision to, to reach the action you've taken today. Well, I've, I've worked for the NHS since I was 18 years old, um, and I'm 51 next week. Um, so no, my, my intention is not to hurt my patients at all. However, I think that the attack of the government on our pensions, a contract that I entered into when I was 18 with the government, and they have now decided that they're going to renege on. So I feel quite strongly about that. And, and there's, what, uh, a couple of dozen or a dozen or so people here with you manning the picket line. Obviously, your, your colleagues have driven past. Has, has there been, uh, what kind of reactions have been from them? Really, really supportive. Some have turned around and gone back home again. Some have sort of said they're going to come out and support us during their break time and taken leaflets from us and generally given us really, really good support. From, from your point of view, how difficult a decision was it for you to strike? I, as a nurse, never thought I'd ever seen the day where I would be striking. Um, for me, as a care person, knowing there are patients in the hospital who would be better served if I wasn't here, it was a very difficult decision. But long term, we have to protect their pensions, we have to protect the rights of nurses. And for the greater good, I am standing on the picket line today. Do you think it's going to make any difference at all? I hope so. I hope that the government will realise that, that people's feelings are very strong. Um, and that making us pay more um, when it's not going to give anything into our pension and they're going to use it to pay down the deficit and to bail out the banks. Um, I feel that I don't want to bail out the banks because I didn't contribute to the crash in the first place. So why should I pay for it? Well, we've heard the suitors and we've heard the, uh, the cars as they go by. As I say, there are about uh, 20 people around uh, holding signs and uh, blowing uh, horns and, and banners and the like here. You've got a nice supply of cakes, haven't you? We have indeed. And we've, we've got bacon sandwiches as well. We've got tea on tap. <laughs> it's a cosy picket line. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there you go. That's the picket line here at uh, Boston's Pilgrim Hospital.